สวัสดีครับ Welcome to Phuket Extra brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. It's Wednesday, November 14th, and I'm your host JP m i s t a n z a with the news you need to know. The Marine Department is issuing a notice ordering all vessels to stay clear of the salvage area in the Andaman Sea, about one and a half nautical miles off Kohe, for safety all day and all night from yesterday all the way to Thursday, as work is carried out to recover the sunken Phoenix tour boat, which sank back on July 5. Killing 47 Chinese tourists. A new company named Sequest Marine from Singapore. They've sent divers into the area, and a salvage crane is expected to arrive to Phuket today to assist with the operation. After the wreck is lifted to the surface, it will be taken to Ratanachai Shipyard in the t a j i n Canal on the east side of Phuket town. Previous attempts to move the boat. Either failed entirely or achieved little success due to strong winds and waves of the monsoon season. For more on this, visit thepuketnews.com. Phuket Immigration is adding a drive-through lane at its main office in Phuket Town in the hopes of making it quicker and easier for foreigners to complete simple procedures, including completing the mandatory 90-day reporting required of all foreigners staying on long-term visas. The news was revealed earlier today, with hopes that the drive-through lane would be open before the new year, as officials say it will be used only for processes that should take very little time. Although the 90-day reporting is so far the only service that's been announced, with more to come. Construction of the drive-through lane began last month, according to officials. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. The death of a 13-year-old Muay Thai fighter after getting knocked out cold last weekend. It's prompting officials to add a firm age limit on professional fighters, saying the current boxing act doesn't go far enough to protect young n a k m u i s Last Saturday, 13-year-old Anusha Tasako was knocked out cold by a punch in the third round of a Muay Thai fight at a Samut Prakan temple in a charity bout. His head hitting the ring floor following the punch, and he was later pronounced dead at a local hospital. He was said to have fought in over 170 fights since he was eight years old. The tourism and sports minister w i d e s a k a u s u r a t is now vowing to forward a draft amendment to the existing boxing act as quickly as possible to forbid professional fighters for kids under 12 years old, and fighters between 12 to 15 years old would be required to wear protective headgear. Currently, the Boxing Act only states that fighters under 15 must be registered, and a declaration must be made about the safety equipment provided for them. But in practice, most gyms nationwide fail to register their fighters and their matches, with no specifics declared about the safety equipment used. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket Extra will be right back, so don't go anywhere. Welcome back to Phuket Extra. The cabinet in Bangkok approved a draft amendment to the 1979 Narcotics Act, legalizing medicinal marijuana, but it will be kept under strict control. And now it's up to the National Legislative Assembly to pass the legislation in what appears to be a mere formality. Thailand now joins 26 other nations in allowing the use of medical marijuana, including the U.S., Canada, the Netherlands, Italy, and Belgium. Reclassifying the plant from a Category 5 drug to Category 2, allowing for the use, import, export, and possession of marijuana exclusively for medical purposes. The Office of Narcotics Control Board has been assigned the task of determining where in Thailand marijuana can be used and grown, while the Public Health Ministry has been assigned the task of monitoring the research of marijuana and its effects for five years. Both state agencies will be working closely together. Patients who wish to use marijuana for medical treatment in Thailand would have to get approval from designated medical practitioners. A framework for the new system has yet to be established. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Over 100 couples are said to have been duped by a wedding organizer who charged for all-inclusive wedding packages that were as high as 700,000 baht, or about 21,000 U.S. dollars. And about 100 victims are filing complaints with police in Bangkok. Reports say that about a dozen couples gathered outside of the shop in Bangkok's Lakprao area yesterday morning. 
the Pan visit wedding store saying the organizer took their deposits and stopped responding to their messages. A sign outside the shop said they were temporarily closed that day. The shop owner named Pan visit Chongrak Santikul is said to have allegedly charged upwards of 700,000 Thai baht for packages that included pre-wedding photo shoots, receptions, and even a trip to Japan with a personal photographer. And one woman whose wedding was scheduled for Saturday, she's now having to cancel the ceremony after the store closed because they have her wedding dress. Police are now involved in trying to track down the store owner who allegedly took the money and ran. And that's it for Phuket Extra, brought to you by PSD Windows and Doors. For safe, secure, and soundproof windows, visit pvcphuket.com. From all of us here at the Phuket News Center, thank you for watching. And until tomorrow, stay classy, Phuket. Golf is for everyone, especially at Laguna Golf Phuket. Now, expats and Thai locals can enjoy the world-class course until the end of November with special resident rates. Simply show your Thai ID card, work permit, or retirement visa. Just 1,800 baht daily for a round of 18 holes with caddy and additional 350 to include a golf cart. Or enjoy great four ball with three other friends on Sundays for only 6,000 baht. Optimize your summer by booking now at facebook.com slash Laguna Golf Phuket.